Well, I think Siemens has answered the question for many, many decades. We've been in the country for 160 years, but more to the point in recent history, I mean, the UK still holds a lot of strength in terms of uh, manufacturing as we speak. We have thousands of people in manufacturing operations. The UK is still very strong in R&D activities. The UK is an interesting market um, for us in many ways because of infrastructure challenges of the country. There's lots of investment that has to be made in energy, in mobility, transportation, broadly speaking, and um, you know also factory automation. So the UK for us has been a stronghold and we have one billion of exports from the country every year to the rest of the world. Well, partially the path to uh, foster and grow new investment has already been set. I mean, if I mention the green agenda, um, the, the renewable agenda of the past government and this government is, is uh, definitely helping to create new markets. Siemens is part of those new markets. We are just announced that we will have a new factory in Hull. Uh, in the northeast of England, uh, so we do bring new investment to the country and that already is partially the answer. What we need as business is uh, the creation of new market opportunities. We need a long-term vision by the country, the government, institutions to really make sure that uh, you know there is, there is a perspective for us and we need reliability. We need the stability of, uh, of these developments in order to make sure that our investments, which are usually for the long term, really um, grow and, uh, and, and pay the dividends we want them to. Well, there are risks to the story, of course. I mean, one major risk that we see is the skills environment. I mean, of course, we need people. We have 17,000 people in the country. We want to grow that number. We need uh, high-end technology skills. We need the STEM skills, science, technology, engineering, math. We need engineers. We need technology uh, uh, graduates. And um, that we see as a definite risk because the numbers are not huge and uh, there is a, a big competition for those people down the road. And with the growing, with the growing um, challenges that we see in terms of the infrastructure that needs to be rebuilt on the energy side, the grid side, the generation side, transportation, that could be a possible threat. Uh, the other thing that could be a threat, of course, is, is, is taxation and regulation. We see definitely constraints here. And um, that is something that needs to be watched by government in order to not drive investment away.